Hello everyone and welcome to Lipnox VR. Today we're looking at a brand new Oculus Quest title from Forever Games. Yeah, the same people who made the fantastic Forever Bowl game. Well, they have a new game called Forever Darts that supports both controller and hand tracking. I admit I am no darts expert. In fact, I am not even a beginner. But I do have some experience in hand tracking games. With that being said, when talking about Forever Darts, I think it's best we start there. When it comes to hand tracking on the Oculus Quest, it's very limited. There are only cameras to track our hands in the front of the headset, and what I've found in my experience playing hand tracking titles is the gameplay really needs to focus on having your hands in front of you. I say this as it seems Forever Games have perfected this recipe with Forever Darts and have presented a simple and yet accurate control scheme. It is very easy to pick up the darts and throw them, but it's also very easy to turn your hand to the side and turn your character as well as reach out your hand and then close it to teleport, or pinch to select stuff. I was even able to type on the YouTube video player, which I of course searched for the best VR YouTube channel on the planet. So let's back up from the hand tracking as it works great, and let's look at some of these darts that we can be throwing. Here are some of my favorites. There are a lot of fun things here, some related to the levels, some just generally cool. I really like this explosive one as it adds a lot of effect for me having the dart explode when it hits the board. There are over 60 in the game I believe and while I would imagine there's a good chance that number gets even higher down the road with updates, I think there is one dart that truly feels like home for me. Oh, Gotta represent for the north. Also, I'd love to hear what your favorite dart is in the comments or perhaps a dart you would like to see in the game. Now before we get into the game, I just want to show off how the controls work. You saw the teleportation controls with the hand tracking stuff, but with the controller you have full locomotion and turning options. We have lots of game modes including hard mode that turns off the assist for a realistic darts experience, and I'll show you that a little later on in the video. There are also options for multiplayer parties, room codes, and it looks like the game supports like 30 or more languages, so everybody can do the game night. Alright, time to get into these stages and let me give you the rundown. We have the typical bar stage, which feels very at home for a rock band to be playing in the background, fitting as I just threw my favorite on the YouTube player. But this stage has the pub aesthetic perfectly done and even has a secret hidden behind the door. Who's in there? I also wanna mention we can challenge the NPCs hanging out in these levels and let me warn you now, Tracy Tremble brings the heat and in a matter of seconds, had me beat. The next stage is out of this world, on Mars to be specific. It's got a great backdrop outside the window and the white space station vibe feels relaxing and peaceful to me. This was my favorite out of the three levels and I found it the most fun to practice throwing the darts in. And lastly, the stage for the high rollers. It's got a nice city backdrop and one of the nicest fountains I've ever seen in VR. It is the largest of the stages, I believe, and is perfect for large groups to hang out in. And would you look at the high score? Welsh Gamer and Tasnik are up there. Two VR YouTubers I've collaborated with in the past, so huge shout out to them, both great guys. So if it's not clear, I think this game is a lot of fun. The object is to get to a certain point total and not go over it. Amounts seem to range from 101 to upwards of 500 or so I believe. This means that I just aimed for the center until I got the last one or two throws. But this also means when you turn off the assist options and play on the hard mode, the challenge goes way up. Yeah, I admit it, I suck at the hard mode, but I did earn some credit by pulling off this, right? Nice. I personally found with the assist, the game is really easy to enjoy and have fun, and without the assist, it feels like a realistic professional darts game. So it does a great job satisfying everyone's playstyle preference. I love the time I spent with Forever Darts, and the meager price point, which is only $10, it's an easy title to recommend for players who want a quality hand tracking game that really works. People who like to play social games with a group of friends, or those who just love darts and want it in VR. I give the game 5 stars and consider it well worth owning. Huge thank you to Forever Games for giving me access to do this review. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe before you go.
Thanks for watching the video and have a good one. I'm out of here.